A former aide to then Senator Joe Biden is fighting an uphill battle as she works to get her day in court. One America's Janelle Akawili has more and we do want to warn our viewers the details of the alleged sexual assault may be considered graphic. Weeks after Joe Biden clinched the Democrat presidential nomination, support from progressive leaders continued to pour in, despite recently resurfaced allegations of sexual harassment. Tuesday, House Speaker Nancy Pelosi doubled down on her endorsement for the former vice president. When asked by a reporter if the allegation issue is closed, she responded with, quote, It is for me. I have said that I'm proud to support Joe Biden for president. However, this seems to contradict an earlier statement on the need for due process. I have a complete respect for the whole Me Too movement. I have four daughters and one son, and uh, there's a lot of excitement around the idea that women will be heard and be listened to. There is also due process, and uh, the fact that Joe Biden is Joe Biden uh, we, there's been s statements from his campaign, or not his campaign, but his former employees who ran his offices and the rest, that there was never any record of this. This, as there have been no formal investigation into the allegations, while accuser Tara Reid is struggling to find legal support regarding her case. In February, she was denied assistance by Time's Up, a Me Too era defense fund, because assisting a case against a presidential candidate would jeopardize its nonprofit status. Reed is one of eight women who came forward with complaints against Biden last spring and again in January. In March, she worked up the courage to tell her full story. It happened all at once. The gym bag, I don't know where it went, I handed it to him, it was gone, and then his hands were on me and underneath my clothes. And, um, yeah, and then he went, oh, he went down my skirt, but then up inside it. And he uh, penetrated me with his fingers, whatever. And um, I, uh, he was kissing me at the same time. However, her accusations barely made waves among media outlets that seemed to favor the presumptive Democrat nominee. Since then, Me Too advocates, including former gubernatorial candidate Stacey Abrams, rushed to defend Biden, who has denied the allegations, citing concerns of credibility. Abrams, who has made a bid to be Biden's VP, pointed to a New York Times article which looked at inconsistencies with Reid's story. According to the Times, Reid disclosed some details of the alleged incident to her brother and a close friend, but failed to mention sexual assault. However, a study conducted by the Equal Employment Opportunity Commission found three out of four people who experience harassment tend to downplay the severity of the incident. With the issue of credibility aside, the mantra for the Me Too movement has always been believe all women. Some leaders of progressive organizations have come to Reed's defense, saying believing women shouldn't apply only when it's politically convenient. Janala Kweli, One America News. Want to see more videos like this? Click on the link below and subscribe to One America News on YouTube. And call your cable provider and kindly demand that One America News is added to your lineup. Call and subscribe today.